Don't forget, if you like art and you want to show it, uh, pick up a Halloween drawing sticker. Uh, these are only going to be around till October 31st, 2022. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to take them away forever. Uh, so pick one up before then. I put these on water bottles. I put these on, you know, on my laptop. I put them all over the place. Uh, but definitely pick one up if you like showing your spirit. Anyways, let's get back into the lesson. Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to go over how to draw a Carnosaurus skull. So Carnosaurus was a uh, cool-looking theropod from Jurassic World. Uh, was it Dominion? I can't remember which one had it in more prominently. Or, uh, But anyways, Jurassic World. Uh, really cool skull, very T-Rex-like, but not quite. We're going to go over that step by step for beginners, okay? If you know what the Carnotaurus is, please, please, please hit the like button so this goes out to more people so more people know what it is. But if you know what it is, yeah, awesome. Because a lot of people, I feel, don't know what this dinosaur is. Uh, it's, like, overshadowed by, like, the T-Rex and stuff. So let's go over here. We're going to draw a line over here at the top. And, you know, this kind of has to do with Halloween, right? It's a skull. I don't know. <laughs> But if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Like more skulls of like dinos. Gonna go up over here. Like I, this is gonna be the front snout. Then it's gonna go up the nose. And at this point, there's gonna be a horn in there. Up, down. One over here. And we're kind of gonna go into the just oddness of the back of the skull really it's like a bump here and a bump here in the back we're gonna pull down here from the jaw down pulling back so this is the cheekbone so this is the mouth right where the teeth are going and then here's the cheek and then we're gonna curve this right into that the cool part about a skull is your lines can be wiggly if you want. That's the cool part about it. Because it's like a fossil and there's things going on, um, you can pretty much do that. Curve right here to close off that bone. Now let's go into the eye socket, okay? Curve right here. Down. It's kind of like a puzzle piece, this one. In over here. Down. And then this is going to come straight down. So that's going to be the eye socket. And that's very, it can change, you know, based on the fossil. Let's go over here on this side as another hole. That's going to be wiggly in a lot of different ways, but just kind of make it consistent. The, the part after this is what matters, okay? Don't worry about it. We will get to the part that matters after this that I think re really matters. Of course, it matters. Curve right here, down up right there there's another hole and then right here the nasal cavity so how do you s oh i'm sorry well we'll go back to this in a second let's do the teeth right now teeth are going to go down here literally just kind of triangles pointed down kind of like a buzz saw back over here down underneath and then the jaw down here is much smaller than like a T-Rex. T-Rex is a huge kind of jaw right here. But this one's going to be a little bit smaller. At least the, the bone of it. It's almost flat looking. Pulling up. And back up there. Kind of went through a little bit, but don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. And then teeth aiming up. So let's get some 3 d ness to this. Before that, though, hit the like button. Oh, I already said that, right? Before that, though, hit the subscribe, click the bell notification. I'm going to post a lot of Halloween-related drawings here for the season. So for the next two months, I'm going to post three videos uh, every single weekday. Um, and then that's it. So definitely, you know, stick around for it. Don't forget to download the Halloween templates in the description. In the top link, there are Halloween drawing templates. There's a hundred of them. And they're, they're easy to print and everything, 100% free. Uh, go check it out if you like that kind of thing. Line up, line down, line up, line down, line up, line down. I want some texture on that horn. So let's go to the important part here I was talking about. So how do you know which one of these is the eye? Obviously, that's a nose. Which one of these is the eye? It's going to look. It's gonna mix you up, right? So the trick that I do is instead of filling them all in equally, 
I do this opposite thing. So right here, it's 3D, you can look into this. So I'm gonna go line over here, trace that side of it on the top. And then I'm gonna fill this in, right? There's a depth to it. So I'm gonna fill this in. See that? Kind of like when you do jack-o'-lanterns, you know, like we do, there's a depth. That's gonna be identified as the eye. This over here is not, so it's gonna be the bottom right here. I'm actually drawing a shape, that shape, a 3D shape on the bottom. And that's gonna separate it so that you don't confuse uh, the eye and stuff like that. Or go downward. And right there, see? So the eye has the top and then these all have the bottom. I don't know why, it just really seems to work to separate them out. So now the rest of this is gonna be texture, right? This is a skull. So draw a little curve here, little curve here, right here, line over here, right on over here as well. And now we're drawing literally just kind of like, like little, little flick marks, thin, thin flick marks for just kind of like the texture of the skull, right? That's it. It's these little tiny marks and you think they kind of do nothing, but they end up adding up a lot to the point where, you know, that's what details are really. Like over here, there's another hole right here, by the way. I'm gonna make it down there as well. Looks like a bean or something, like a bean, like a bean shape. I'm gonna go over here, line over there. Same thing over here. See, you're just kind of throwing stuff around there. Um, something to make a little bit more solid is you can draw a thicker line, maybe in the bottom, like there's some shadow coming in, and the bottom over here, kind of on the outside. Anywhere where there'd be like light coming down, maybe even right here in the mouth. I want to thank you very much. If you want to see different dinosaur skulls on the channel, let me know and we'll totally do it. You just gotta let me know in the comment section. I'm very much open, I'm very easy to reach. So absolutely reach out to me. Um, check out all the stuff. I'm gonna start a Patreon soon, but not yet. I'm gonna fill in the mouth a little bit. I think I just dropped my remote. I'm gonna start a Patreon soon, but not yet. Uh, if I do, I'll let you know. Uh, but stay with that, uh, you know, that whole thing by going to the channel, uh, you know, sketchingeasy.com, the website. Talk, <coughs> talk to you later and stay spooky.